on, everybody? This is your boy Gotti on the Gotti's World Podcast, Season 3. We up. And I got my boy. It took a while for me to get this nigga here because he's so busy. He got a lot of shit happening. But I got him in here, man. Ooh, ooh. I got my man. Shit. The hardest yeah. fucking DJ I know. Yeah. My boy. Go ahead and hype me up. <laughs> Louis motherfucking V. We ain't fucking around. DJ Louis V, what's going on, bro? What's happening, bro? I can't call it. I'm feeling good. How about you? Bro, I appreciate you for being here, period. Yeah, it's bro. all love, God. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. It took a while. I know you busy. You oh, no, moving, shaking, you rattling, know, and rolling. You know, your days were just kind of weird. They was all fucked days, up. You know, they were just like not matching up. You know what I'm saying? You was in and out yeah, doing your we, thing. We good though. We good. Bro. But we good. We, we here it now. Out. That's, what, and we that's gonna, what the real ones do. Hey, and we here now, bro. Sure. So, uh, just to give you a little backstory on this brother here, how I met him. I was doing my first live hosting in the strip club and he was DJing already. And when I tell y'all I was Man, shaking like a stripper, bro. I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I got it done in the only words that this nigga gave me. Because he don't talk much if he don't fuck with you. Hey. He just said, just do your shit. Do that's your shit. it. Just do your shit. I'm going to work around you. <laughs> I'm going to work around you. That's it. And that's all I had to go off. But we built a, a, a small relationship. We did another um, club. We did another club. And when I tell y'all, man, we rocked that motherfucker. And... I took that picture with him and Live. low low key, my IG went up just a little bit because I was standing next to him. <laughs> and man, we've been yeah. solid ever since then. I we got, had a I little conversation. Chick follows off you. I ain't gonna lie. Get the fuck out of here. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But yeah, man, look. Um, we're gonna go up and down, man. This Let's podcast. Go. I'm a random nigga, bro. Let's just go. So, hey, I'm gonna ask you. And we're going to go. Man, you ain't even got a Tim. Let's just do it. Let's do it. All right, now. Where are you originally from, cuz? <laughs> Give me that. Where are you originally from? Ah, uh, I'm from I'm from Chicago. I mean, I'm Belizean, you know. Okay. But I'm Chicago, you know. Shit. Well, pot. Uh, is it a lot of pot or just one hey, pot? Everybody want to know, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm like one of those people from the city. Don't nobody know where I'm from, for real. They just be like, we see Louis everywhere. Louis everywhere. from over there. He with dude them over there. <laughs> Uh, I'm from the south side of Chicago, Wild Hunnets, you know. Okay. You know, Roseland area to be more Pacific. Everybody know that already, though. Like, if they really know, they know. Like, anybody who really knew me back in the day when I used to be promoting. Right. Hunnets, you know. I, it, it was, like, hard yeah. not to have that attached to my name, you know. But over the years and, and the work, as it collaborated, it's just, you know, I kind of just fell off from the area and just kind of made a brand. Like, I didn't yes, want to make it about where I was from, you know. Yes, just sir. about where I'm at, mainly. It's just, like... I'm Chicago, you know. That's it. I you fuck know, with so. it. Fuck with it. That's now, it now. <laughs> now, if I, if you, if you was to pick up one of these phones that you got, and we was to call Mama Louie, oh, how man. would she describe you as a kid? Oh man, I was wildin', <laughs> little badass. Out, out there sneaking outside, them fellas sitting behind me when I had no business outside. You know, street lights <laughs> on, and I'm outside hiding in bushes when she coming around the block. Nigga, mama, oh. Uh, it, have you, me, bro. Have me. You know, you know when you outside, you got like three, four of your homies in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You be hand Trying to have and, ass. And, and, and she stopped anyway. Pass. She stopped anyway like, where you at? I know we back there. Come on up. Hey, yeah. You know, we was one of them type of kids. You know, just always outside. I was just always out when they told me to stay in. It was just like, you know. I, I wouldn't say I was a bad kid, you know. Any smart person ain't a bad person. It's just, you know. We're just going to explore. That's just any person in general. That's the curiosity within me. So I was a real adventurous person. If you was to ask me mm. how she would explain me, she'd just be like, boy, that boy adventurous and crazy. She going to say it just like that. Like, he adventurous so, and crazy. So that kind of that, that kind of explains why you are what you are now. You get, you got your hands in a lot of shit. Sure. You do a lot. You move around. It's really like, bro, every time I see you, you really ain't sitting down. I really just be curious to see what would happen if I did it. <laughs> you know, so that's really where it come from. A lot of times, you know, it just be like, I just want to see what would happen if I do something. So yeah, I just do it out of curiosity, you know. And you never know, like you just might get good results out of that. So you know, I was just always just trying new things. So okay, okay. Now, as I can say, did you have you growing up? Did you have a solid foundation? Always. I would, I would definitely say that, you know. They did a they did a damn good job, you know. Uh, 
Now I have both of my parents in my life, you know. Okay. A question a lot of people be wanting to know, like, how was you at home? I mean, uh, it's just the same as everybody, you know, ups and downs, you know. Uh, it ain't exactly, you know, like a uh, perfect family. I'm the... the uh, Nobody shit perfect. I'm, I'm the youngest of five, so, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> when you got that many kids at home, you you could pretty much get an idea of what was going on by the time they came to me. They was a little tired, so that's why I'm more like ahead of my time. So it was like I was raised by older people. It was like everybody mm-hmm. older, was older than me. It's like my brothers, mm-hmm. my sisters, mm-hmm. you know, my mm-hmm. pops, my mama. Like they in their sixties, so for me it was like everything was older. So you know, but at Since home, you, was- nice, you know, I had a solid foundation. Like they definitely was there for me. So you know, that's why I'm supportive the way I am. Since you said you were just you grew up with older people, what type of morals was installed into you as a young first thing first? You know this this just solid, you know, and you know I think my mama even gonna watch this. She probably watching now. My daddy be on there too. They be creeping on social media. You know we don't laugh right now, but you know uh, they probably gonna laugh at this part. You know first thing first, man. The, the, the main thing they tell you is the reason why I had to move out the house. You either gonna work or go to school. You know and. For my dreams, it was just like for a long time I had to show them that it could be work. You know, it, it just yes, seemed sir. like you were chasing a dream. That's exactly what it is to most people. And I, I just, you know, I don't know, man. I just, it was just weird. You know, uh, a lot of things was just like, mm-hmm, man. They supported. They was with it. I was with it. I was trying things. I was just doing mm-hmm. things. It was just like I was all over the place, bro. It was just really can't go into details. It, I feel you. I feel you. Know. No, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Now. Just from me to you, I mean, we just had a little previous conversation before you got here, bro. All the shit that's happening in Chicago, all the little bullshit, all the goofy shit. Sure. How is your health? How is your mental state of mind, bro? With with all this in your energy that oh, you're man. giving out with everybody, man. With, with, mental, with Chicago, period. My mental state of mind is I'm happy, like Plastic, <laughs> you know. Don't come over here with that energy. You hear me? I tell people that all the time, like I'm trying to be happy, like I first told you, like when we actually sat down to have our combo. Like, yes, sir. It's a lot of toxics in this game, Ugh. and you gotta really know how come to on, filter the toxins. Come you know on, what I'm saying? So for me, mental state of mind is everything. Mental health, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're not healthy as a person, you you should always have a strong mind. So you know that's for like my big boys out there, man. They don't really be motivated and feeling good like everybody else. But you should always feel good because that's that's the first step into getting yourself together you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you can't move your body without making your brain process that you know what i'm saying so i just always feel good like it's just like i gotta feel good now i cut anything and everybody off if i gotta feel good like that i didn't recently delete my instagram not once but twice you know what i'm saying for weeks at a time just because i'm not gonna let nobody disturb me you know Y'all not going to tag me too much with nonsense. I don't want to be a part of certain things, you know. I'm going to act like I don't see it. I'm going to do that to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay out the way of what these people do, you know what I'm saying, with their toxic stuff and how they try to drag sound, people you into know what? things. That sound, you know? that's Low-key, that sound like me, bro, because it's easy for me to cut ties yeah. with shit that I'm like, I'm cool. If, if I'm not with it, I'm just simply gone from it. So it's just like... That's why, like, a lot of people elevate, and it, it just comes to a point where, like, a lot of people call people like me Hollywood, you know, because right. I won't come on scene to a lot of things because I just simply don't agree with it. So mm-hmm. my comfort zone is everything, and that's a part of my mental state of mind. So my comfort zone, you know, it's just I want to be happy, you know, Indeed. and a lot of people try to take that from you when they see you got that. So <laughs> you already know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna protect that to the fullest. So to the to the to the so whole. So when it comes to me, I'm I'm happy, but I'm also always aware and disturbed by what's going on because you got to be aware, and if it bothers you, don't be alarmed by that or afraid of that. You got to kind of embrace it and know how to move around. It. And that's why my first thing that a lot of people I don't like talking now. Now it's like when I'm outside, it's just like, what's up? I see you. I know you dab you know it's cool like it's love if you was to reach to me just like we reach you know yes, i reach back willingly you know it's just we're not gonna do that awkward stuff you know we're not gonna do the fake love we're not gonna do none of that so my mental state of mind is how that's how i reserve it and i stay happy like the way i am so this is like i see people i be like yo do your thing i'm gonna do me and we're gonna work it around each other that's it and that's it so Damn. i'm staying in my lane bro in your lane, not you know, in my head. I it, should say, I'm staying in my mind, my own place. You know, that's that's, that's a big lane, bro. Louis world. That's a big, <laughs> Gotti's world, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm sure. Now I'm here on Gotti's world. That's why I said you reach. I'm gonna reach back. Let me slide over here and see what Gotti got going on. Oh yeah. Real quick, tell me when that light bulb went off 
in your head and you knew DJing was the move and was the what was that? What's gonna be your niche? Large fact, man. It was the guy behind me, man. My boy Hood Max City. Probably shout out, King shout out. Hood, you know, uh, I got Jay Way in here too. Jay Way, yeah, Jay Way tracks the producer. Uh, they was like a main role because we kind of started off as a as a group, you know. And it, I wasn't really DJing. I was really rapping. A lot of people, if they really trace my YouTube history, yes, they, I they, did, they had brother. Across a lot of things, you know, but. I ain't gonna speak all on that. All you heard but, was that deep ass but, voice, bro. But you know, That's like, you it really started with like a, just a vision. I came back from Florida. I was in my boy J Rock career, rest J Rock. Hood was in the room. I walked in. He was smoking a black and mild, had a mohawk. It was just like crazy, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, what the bam. I could go about the story all day, but long story short, he was just rapping. They was just started rapping out of nowhere on the beat. I'm like, bam. I had an MP4 player, you know what I'm saying? If you know what that was, it wasn't an MP3, but it was the fake iPod back then. So I had the MP4. We started recording on it. And it just like, I introduced to another homie and he showed me something with a rock band wired up with, with um, Mixcraft through the computer. So that's how we was recording records through the computer then. Then I just started playing and exploring <laughs> the program more. And then it just went off. It was like, yo, this is cool. This is something I want to do. And it's and it's actually fun. Then it's, it's, it's the next phase that actually make the light bulb go off. It's the person who comes to you and be like, yo, you can do this in that and make this into one big thing, you know? Why be the person just making records when you could be the person playing and making them? So I basically picked the lane. I'm not gonna make the music right now. I'm gonna be the person to play the music and make sure my homies and them get supported the right way. Mm. And then as, mm. as it became like a, a hobby, you know, like anything, man, if you stick to it and stay consistent, the results will show and first booking you get that payment it's, it's just a real change it's like boom it's like it's on i can get money from this this it's could be on. this could be more than just bread and butter this could be more than just a hobby this could be more yeah. than just that you know yeah and it's just like the feedback it was something positive for us you know from where we come from it was something way different from what we was doing mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it was like a big change to everybody and everybody wanted to see that change so it's like we kind of embraced it and it was like a light bulb with first the change then it was a light bulb with the money it was like yo we could put both these together and the money can change the, the world like we could change our life and change everything around us we can't change the world but we can start with what's right, right here, here in front of us right and we here. can yep. we can make this into our comfort zone and we can take that well well and that's just what we kind of deal with just okay. like a light bulb, like boom, let's get it. <laughs> I I feel like it's three stages to life. And let me tell you, let me ask you what part, what, what stage are you in? It's the beginning stage to where you got something, you're trying to figure it out, and you just move and you're going through the grind. You got the survival stage to where you have something, you establish just a little bit, and you're trying to hold on to it and keep moving on. And you got that living stage. To where you have something it's established you're good and you just coast what would you say you at right now i'm at that blessed stage i gotta check that box outside of the box it's like that girl off man in black you feel me <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> i'm just that i'm just that person i'm i'm the person outside of the crowd bro at all times it's just like i'm gonna check a box outside of the boxes bro because i'm i'm at a different point i, I was i was at a point where i was progressing then I was at a point where I was comfortable, and then I, I reached a different point where I re realized that comfort zone was slight compared to how comfortable I can get, mm. you know? And then that's when I got to the phase I'm in now. I'm more of, um, I'm back motivated and hungry. So it's not really like a, I'm comfortable even being established, you know? At this point, I, I could say I'm well established, I'm well invested, mm -hmm. you know? I, I definitely got, myself in order on the I'm, business at, I'm, side. I'm i'm at a phase where i'm comfortable like either way it go like if the next thing don't work you these cool. are already working so i will roll with that but never settle bro i'm i'm definitely at a point where i'm just feeling blessed so i'm just supporting i'm giving i'm getting back and i'm just i'm trying to get to a different point you know and i'm just mm. i'm doing it out of curiosity right now i'm just trying to hit a different point i'm trying to check that box outside of the box so that's where I'm at right now. I'm just doing things that don't really make sense to me. It's just I'm outside of my characteristics right now. Even like doing podcasts, I don't have any interviews other than Urban Grind and 
several other spots that caught me, like Hype Magazine, the early days. Mm -hmm. It's just blank stuff. People don't know about me. I don't care to fill in no blanks. I'm more preserving my social, my private life from the social media right now, you know? And it's just like, I'm at that point. You give them what you give them and that's it. You know, it's just like, give or take, receive what you can. Don't think complain you about it, think. you know? That's it. I'm just, I'm at a point where I ain't complaining, but I ain't settling either. So it's just like, mm -hmm. I'm blessed. I heard that shit. You feel me? How can Ooh. you explain that? It's just, you just blessed at that point. Bro, with so much confidence that you have, bro, where did you get all this confidence from? Oh, man, these, these guys behind me, they talk so much shit. <laughs> bro, bro, they talk so much shit. Bro, if you wasn't motivated and inspired before, I don't know how other people take it. I'm, We was from a place of tough love. Like, yo, pussy, that, that record was nice, <laughs> but that wasn't hard, bro. In the words of J.I., yeah, that was cool, but that wasn't... Bro, you could do better than that, bitch. <laughs> Straight like that, like, damn, pussy, what I got to come with? You know, we're going to be real blunt on this podcast for a oh, minute. Oh, of course, that's know? what we do. Uh, but, yeah, he's just like, damn, bro, what the hell you going to do, man? I'm just like, I'm looking at Hood like, what the fuck you think this is? <laughs> I just dropped five motherfucking mixtapes in a day. You can tell how this nigga talk. So, <laughs> you can tell, you can tell how just, this nigga talk. This is, so, this is how he just really like, talk. I really got motivated. Like, it was like, I got a different type of push. I got pushed off the porch. I didn't jump, bro. I got pushed. Like, everything I did in life, it wasn't a jump. I got Bring pushed. Bring your ass. Like, let's it go. Was let's like, go let's do, do it. Like, first time he learned to swim, boy, my daddy, if he watching this, he going to laugh. Motherfucker, we in Belize, <laughs> Miami Beach. Middle, like, we like 30 minutes off the coast of Placentia. This motherfucker throw me off the boat, say, you going to swim today. You had to figure the shit out. Lying. OG in there just looking at me like, doggy pedal. <laughs> Screaming. So, so it was go like ahead, that. Do you? It was always like that for me to life, like just jump out and figure it out. So it's just like I'm I'm confident because that's how I'm, I'm one of them type of people. I, I took the risk way before I even understood what the risk came with. So you ain't never like, let that go. So I nah, can tell, bro. I, I you ain't never let that go. It just like you never let that shit go. It was it was it was a it was a um, a heart making moment. It was a moment that made me stronger. It was a moment where I was scared as hell, but mm. you got to really let go and let God and, and really trust. If you gonna trust your people and you know they trustworthy, you know, you know you really really need to relax and just trust, you know. And that's kind of where my confidence come from. My confidence come from my guys behind me now because I can I can know I can trust them to do what they need to do when it's time to do that. So, what are yeah. some of your fears though? Ooh. You know, we kind of let a lot of those go. You know, like it come with it. I used to be scared of a lot of things like dying, but I'm one with with the. You know, with the earth? No, nah, not the earth. The um, to the Most High. You know, I'm. I was one of those people that I went through multiple religions during life. So, you mm. know, I just got to say the Most High because it's just you know that's deep. So I don't want to get into that. <laughs> but I, <laughs> but you know, it's just we used to have many conversations that. like that. I but get it. It's just I like, get it. That's a part. That's that's one of the things you let go when you get established. That's why a lot of people who get established they don't really feel death like that no more because the goals is done. I, I, I secured what I was trying to do. My kids are straight. I'm at I'm 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 working on home right now. So it's like home mm. wouldn't be home if I was gone. So you can't focus too much on that. You gotta really focus on the future. So mm. it's just like that's secured. So it's like it's just like I don't fear that. I don't fear the other thing. My only fear is like me actually losing my spark and my confidence in myself. That mm. that should be more scarier than anything or anybody. You know, like mm. The day I stopped believing in Louie, that'll scare me. Because then it, it'll get it, it'll get like to that. a different place, you know? I like that. I like <laughs> you know, that. to stop believing in myself, now that's scary. Okay. Since you say that though, we can't look into the future at all. Oh no, we can't never do that. So let me ask you, as you write you your prepare story, You could prepare. You could prepare. For most definitely ones. You definitely could prepare. You definitely could prepare. As you write your story in your life though, how do you continue to to contribute to the black society though with oh, your talent oh man look that you got i ain't gotta say that i ain't gotta say too much at all just like you said i don't gotta talk it's in the action brother it's just doing they see this i ain't gotta talk about that let the street say it you want to figure out what i contribute go ask half these rappers in the club getting their record played before these djs even realize who they was Go ask all these people that wanted to be Hollywood before a dude like me walked them into that DJ booth and be like, nah, you ain't gonna do that today. Oh. 
Oh shit! Here you go. Hey, we could trip you every day. Here you go. When I we like check, this. When we, I like when this we checked on when we checked on egos and we get outside our comfort zone of being worried about somebody blackballing us or getting us out the way, bro. Can't nobody blackball you, bro. That's that's the foolishness in this this industry. You know what I'm saying? You only get blackball if you're disrespectful and out of order. You're out of order. You're not gonna be accepted most places. That's that's just common sense. So as long as it makes sense. You will never get blackballed because it's always means to money. You so, been, so how you, can you let a person contradict what you're doing? I, I can't let nobody control what I'm doing because you, you don't control how I make money. This is one lane. I will go my floors before I let you tell me how to run my life. But you've been known to cut up. Oh yeah, I in cut your up. day. Oh yeah, man, I get active. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bolder than most. I, I'm I'm not concerned about how people feel about what I'm gonna say because you know, like I said, I came up in a rough area. Mm. We were prepared to take yes, the ass whooping that come with the shit you talk. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. I was prepared. It's just like if y'all gonna talk that shit, you better be prepared too because I'm gonna talk that shit back. And whichever way it go, you know, you That's can't back down. You, you can't be scared of this because you got to embrace it. It's just like I said, if, if you stand down, they're going to run over you your whole career. This is an industry. This is a business. And a business has no place for personal feelings. That makes you weak. Mm. If you're sitting there feeling some type of way, then you in the wrong business already. I don't feel no type of way toward nothing. I contribute many things. And when I reach out and they reach out and we reach back. That's contributing right there because we both doing one thing that we didn't have to do before. Talk your shit. So that's shit, that's nigga. contributing, brother. Yes, when, when we come places yes, and we sir. don't expect things, that's me contributing. Whether people realize that or not, just a lot of people are way less appreciative than they supposed to realize. They just way less humble than they supposed to be. But then again, who's supposed to be any way other than they self? So that's just some people. You know, and for those who are aware and they know, then those the ones we gonna grow with and focus on. So how I contribute is many ways, bro. Whether it's what I aspire, what I invest, rather what I do, is many things. We put that together, you know. Let them tell that. If I sit here and tell it, this ain't real. That that's another story. If I contributed, that's somebody else. You gotta talk story. it on that's the other you know end. Valid. That's when you know it's that's real. You know it's valid. If I'm just yes, saying sir. it, then it ain't real, yep. bro. That's why I don't talk. I don't got much to say. Just like when people ask me, why your Instagram ain't, I don't care about that. I don't have much to post on them. <laughs> I don't have much to do. Like, I spend records. What What do you want me to do? Hop on there and become a comedian now? Nah, that's not what I do. That's not me. Indeed. Book me, I'll show you what I do. Now, they scared of doing Turn that now. That you know what I'm saying? They, they don't want to do that. <laughs> because when they can't control you, they don't want to book you. Because yeah, you're not the one yeah. to take the shorts on the days they want you to. Because you can see the real. And when you are well, that's when you get cut out. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna they gonna hate you when you up. They love you more when you ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just something I learned. Yeah, so I'm seeing that. I just I'm, you I'm know, starting to see that though myself. Always myself. contribute, but just don't contribute too much because a lot of people aren't great at tight. And it's just you know you got to make sure the love is there before you just put it there. It ain't never been about taking a loss. It's about making sure they love and appreciate what they're getting if we take that loss. Ooh. So Ooh. that's deeper than all that. You know when. When you are in that space to where you in your own head sometimes, who does the go-to go to? Oh, man, I got what I call reliable people, like my bros. Uh, you know, I, I got a lot of women friends, you know. They help, you know. And sometimes, you know, it's crazy when men say that. They automatically, oh, girl, he a hoe. Hey, man, look. Nah, baby. First thing is first. <laughs> nah, baby. We don't get <laughs> advice from the same sex unless it pertains to characteristics. When it comes to mental space and mental mind, you got to always kind of approach the opposite sex because it's, it's then it's a it's a real versatile input. It's not a sexist thing. It's not a, a oh, you know, you kind of doing this wrong, bro. No, nah, it's a, they're going to tell it to you how it is because, you know, Women is just always more straightforward with the man than how your homie is. Your homie, you know, he kind of care for you, so you're going to be like, oh, man, you know, don't worry about that, bro. We going to figure that out. Don't stress that. He going to kind of give you release, but, you know, reliable people, they more so give you the truth. So I got reliable people I, I, I talk to, and it's like a lot of older people more so, you know, people that been through and can actually give me proper guidance and 
proper, you know, influence because you don't really want to go to people your age group because then you might get mixed into doing the same thing they doing it. But you can learn stuff from anybody. Yeah, for sure. Always, you know what I mean? Always, bro. You can learn from... Bro, I learn all the time, even from the kids. Like, my nephew and them be showing me how to do things. I didn't know how to ride a hoverboard, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not savvy, bro. You know? I, bro, I spend a lot, a lot of time searching new records and music, keeping up with different things. So, I don't keep up with the little things, you know? So, you know, it's just like... Go tos. You just gotta always have a few go tos, no matter who they is. As long as Stick they keep it line. real and reliable, yeah, yeah. you know. If it's a reliable guidance, I should say, like mentors or even parents, if you got them, or people that used to be like guardian perspectives to you growing up, like people who was in that that role, you know, like oh yeah, you know, you kind of looked up to them a bit, or even people that's like in position now similar to where you're trying to get to that's like a major thing with me so like a lot of my go-to's are like people who's in better positions even better than me you know and i had to learn how to accept that i'm not a hater you know i appreciate them taking the time out they day to tell me where i be going wrong so it's just like that's who i go to it's just like but you always gotta go to the you know most high talk to yourself and talk to god <laughs> do you consider yourself a product of your environment oh yeah or a statistic as they would say, okay, he was Damn here. right, I'm a statistic. I'm a hood nigga. I smoke weed. I love I love good <laughs> good looking women. I love this titties nigga. and big yeah. booties. I don't give a fuck how they feel. <laughs> statistic that, bitch. We made it. <laughs> fuck you talking about. Okay, boom. <laughs> let, let, let's switch this out. Let's switch this out there. Let's you take, gotta, you gotta let's take it back like that. We statistics, but it just don't matter what they label you. You are what you are. You, you are come as you, you is. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's just me. I'm a man before I'm anything, bro. Gee, it, when was... Okay, let's take this back. Let's take it back a step. When was the last time you were vulnerable? Oh, shit. I'm vulnerable now, bro. We human beings, bro. I can go out to this motherfucker and get hit in the stomach. I ain't expecting that. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I got put, oh, vulnerable <laughs> shit, you know? You got to be realistic with yourself, talk about vulnerable. People, people give themselves yeah. too much credit. I ain't vulnerable until, <laughs> you know, I'm dead, bro. You always vulnerable, bro. He got flesh and skin. This shit ain't that, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no steel, my bro. <laughs> it's just like, as far as, like, vulnerable, like, you have to be more specific. Is we talking mentally, physically, or is we talking, like, financially? Like, how no, no, are we no, we're talking? talking? We're talking emotionally. Emotionally, oh, I'm most vulnerable. Like when people don't appreciate what I'm contributing, that that's like when I probably get most in, into my thoughts. Like, damn, what am I doing this for? <laughs> At that yeah. moment, it's just like I just get to a point where, like, yo, it don't make sense to me. What you want it all? Take it. <laughs> you know, so Man. it's just like. Just be like that. I guess I'm most vulnerable when I be like disappointed, you know. That's when I'm most vulnerable because don't much get me down now. You know, I learned to deal with with my feelings towards women. You know, baby mama should do that to you. Huh, nigga, don't I know. Kids. Huh, <laughs> nigga. They, they'll change you. <laughs> nigga. I, so, you ain't saying shit but a word, You bro. know, um, You ain't saying shit but a word so right now. probably like, shit, I'm most vulnerable. Like, when I get disappointed, bro, like, damn, it's a big disappointment. It's like, it kind of puts you in a different place in your mind because, like I said, for me, it's all about trusting. So, I trust hard. If I love you, I love you hard. You know what I'm saying? So, I trust you like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, if, I, if my bro and them right here... And they was to be like, yo, give me the car keys, Louis. You finna go down the street. You know, I know I could trust them. They know not to go blow and pop a bottle and go down the street and be outside the car doing some stuff. They ain't got no business doing. I could trust them to do that. Now, if they was to do that and get the car took and do some other stuff, I'd be disappointed. Now I'm vulnerable. I ain't got no car. I'm outside. You, you most vulnerable when you put your trust into things and it don't work out because that's when you... You let your guards down when you feel trustworthy. That's when you feel secure. So you if you feel secure, you, you know, you got. It. that's yeah. it. It's just like relationships, you know. <laughs> Speaking of relationships, I'm glad you jumped right into that. We're going to jump in, jump out. Yeah. What is the relationship status looking like? Man, I'm complicated. <laughs> Shit. They love me. I love them back. Shit, you know. If you love me, I love you back, baby. If you're watching, I love you. <laughs> what does... 
the ideal woman look like to Louis V? What does she have to have? What does she, she beautiful. Have to, what I'm, I understand she. <laughs> hey, of course she got to be beautiful, bro. Throw that over there. She beautiful. Of course <laughs> gotta, she got to be beautiful. Look at my bros on that one. She look good. <laughs> hey, hey, hood. She look really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the qualities that she has to have? Oh man, for look, you to give her that eye, for you to look at her. First like, thing first, bang. you know, honestly, like, let's be realistic, man. We we come from rough areas, you know. Rather we got out of that, got introduced to new things, stayed in new environments that we got introduced to, went back to them. No matter how it worked out, it's just like I think anybody go who come from where we come from is to get something reliable and secure, like, and so. It ain't always about looks, it's about, baby, how you coming? Because, you know, I'm highly confident, highly motivated. I'm highly on my shit. So is you gonna match that fly? You gotta, you gotta come hard. Like, bro, is my mama gonna like you? What do you do for a living? In my line hood, <laughs> it's the main thing. You know, and that's just like, well, I'm complicated because shit, you know, I can't explain that. It got to match what I'm doing. You know, it got to be. It's got to fall in line. You, you can't be, you can't be what I came from because I'm going somewhere different. You get what I'm saying? And the ideal girl is like someone who want to progress and grow as much as I do. So she got to match what I do. So if I dress casual on some days, you gotta dress casual some days, and your 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 swag gotta be like that. So if so you everybody ain't there, Louis, but you can still have the one, and but, she ain't but, made it there yet. She 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 get damn close, and sometimes you gotta take that. If she get close, you just gotta ride with it. You can't can't expect them to just come with the full kit. Sometimes you she gotta. Can't, uh, that's what I'm saying. You gotta she work on like a car, bro. You that's gotta, what I'm you saying. Gotta buy she ain't gonna have right. It's gonna she take ain't a new starter, everything. new battery. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't gonna have everything. But she has. She got a little something. But I and you told work with that. That's why I deal with all the people because shit, she <laughs> gonna have that shit. Baby, ten years. Hey, five, ten, six, one. Hey, baby, gonna have that shit because baby got more time and this shit than me. So if baby ain't coming with that shit, baby, I need to uh, just be single. Because baby, I gotta get my shit together and I can't be sitting here getting us together. That's that. We got to be getting us together if that's the case. But you know, I ain't got time to be doing that because I'm together already. So, you know, before I do that, that'd be going backwards. <laughs> It'd just be me and my kids. I'm sorry. You know, that's just me keeping it real. You know, I'd rather take my baby mama out before I take a little bow head ratchet hoe out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can't give me shit but some pussy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I'm just talking about shit, but look, no, nah, for real though, man, if they can't contribute as much as I can, it just don't make sense because they'll take more than you'll get. That's a fact. And, and that, that'll fact. take from your soul because deep they'll down inside, keep pulling and pulling and taking deep down and taking. inside, you got to live we'll with knowing that. that. We'll need that. And and that's where people not real with themselves. I'm real with myself. I'm honest with myself. I know that shit will eat at me. My girl ain't got enough money to help me do anything. If I was to need four, five thousand dollars to fix my goddamn car, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. I tell you, rub my back. You're lazy. You don't want to rub it. You ain't even got your hands. Snickers. <laughs> I tell you, let's go outside. You're tired. You ain't even got the energy. It just don't make sense. Y'all deal with this nigga on the regular, bro. <laughs> Y'all deal with this shit on the regular. It just don't make sense. <laughs> Shout out to all my people watching, man. Shout out DJ Lil John, my little bro. DJ Lil John, what it is, hey, fool. Man, that's my boy right there. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, though. That's just what it is, though, man. It's just like, it got to match your soul. Why are you out here looking for things to look nice? I ran across a lot of things to look nice. Bro, I, I, I play in the club where you met me at. Hmm. It was a lot of nice pieces in there that night. You can't be a part of the toxics just because it looked nice. It ain't nice. Everything ain't good for you. Now, you might be curious and go play with it. Now, I might be guilty as charged on that. I might go play with it. I might go dance with the devil a bit. But I ain't going to lay with that because I know better. You know what I'm saying? And you just got to know better. So, for each his own. Each his own. How? No, we're going to take it here. How do you feel about the Chicago scene? The Chicago DJ and artist scene. How do you, how do you feel about that? Cause it's a lot of food, but it's also a lot of good motherfuckers out here. The music scene, the music yeah. scene, the music scene. Shit, I shit fucked up. Mm. Shit. Oh. On what side? That shit fucked up. Cause we up. got some music out here, but are you talking about the support side? Shit, that shit just fucked up all the way around. Hey, hey, Will, this shit fucked up, right? Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I can't make this up. You know, I mean. 
it, it starts with the mentalities. Then I guess it goes down to like the business. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people start off like Chicago is one of. I'm gonna just say this: Chicago is one of them cities, and this is our biggest flaw. Chicago, one of them cities, people be highly motivated to just to do shit. Chicago people just always doing some shit. And it ain't your lane. You no, it, 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 you jumping it, into other people's it, shit. It ain't even about a lane, Gotti. I'm finna just break it down. Go they ahead. just always just doing some shit. For example, we rap, he rap. I wanna rap now. Just doing shit. You don't even rap. You a jack boy, but you wanna rap. Now he jacking niggas and rapping niggas. It don't make sense. It don't mix. What are you doing? That shit don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make sense. Like, a lot of shit, like, Chicago just be doing shit, and that's why a lot of problems be started, and that's why we don't trust each other. Because you got people that act like they doing proper business, and then they come around and do shit that don't make sense. Why Why would you meet me in my studio to come do business with me, and then turn around and rob me for my podcast equipment? Because you want to start a podcast, but don't even know how. You just doing shit. Now you got to go find a person to hook all this shit up, but you done robbed six motherfuckers already. So don't, none of them want to help you. <laughs> so now you got to go hope your name ain't shattered somewhere else. And then you fuck around and get laid out somewhere because you done went across somebody else and they done set you up or something. It's just, that's why shit is the way it is. That's why it's too much animosity in there. That's why it's so much violence still going. It, it starts with the just doing shit. People got to stop just doing shit first. It ain't got nothing to do with what's going on. Shit, motherfucker gonna do shit wrong regardless. That's a part of life. We do shit wrong. We learn from our mistakes, but mm-hmm. it's just like mm-hmm. Chicago niggas don't. We just do that shit and we do that shit again. And we do it again and again. They just keep doing that shit. And then they stop when they finally, you know, get, in, get enough of shit. Actually, they took enough of shit and then be like, I don't want to do that no more. And expect everybody to be like, Will, this is better than a Kanye rant. You know, but I'm this just, is better than I'm a just Kanye it real. That's, that's the I problem. Like that's why it's fucked up, you know? And with the women, it's, it starts with these niggas. Like, uh, you in the club, baby. I know you like this chain. So I'm going to take you home with me tonight, but she going to hate you for that. I hope you can live with that. But women don't think that far. They don't think like, damn. They don't even stop for a second to say, like how our parents told us, you don't just do shit. You take time and you observe it. And you see what it's got going on and, what, and, and, and what it comes with. Everybody's on go. They don't, they don't want to see Everybody's what it comes with. They just on go. green light. It's go. So it's just yeah. like, that's yeah. the problem. It, it's too much green light. <laughs> Everybody's screaming, we don't stop at red lights. At some point, we got to stop. Because everybody's going to crash. Right? And that's what's happening. So yeah. Chicago just fucked up. We we can't get to a status of yeah. what these other cities doing because shit, we don't even know how to do proper business. We don't even have secure spots to do business in out here. Everybody back doing shit. Everybody trying to find a way up. You know, it's happening everywhere, but it's just more happening here because we the base. We what every city love to watch and say drill. Big facts. And Big that's facts. our mentality. We go out of town and, and we scream that shit. We say, man, they hate us because we from Chicago. Or they love us because we drill and we from Chicago. First week in Atlanta for me and my boy. Man, they love us, bro. We from Chicago. Embrace them, right? I love it. And we love that. Nigga, I love it. And, and that just turns you into a monster because now we down there like, yeah, bitch, fuck these niggas. <laughs> I want to uh, take over this. Yeah, it's just like, and that's why you got so many people flooding over down shit. there trying to yeah. just do some shit, just doing shit, you know. But if and also being something that they ain't, yeah, that they ain't at the crib. But it may work for them now because you know what they ain't gonna do is do that that disrespectful shit they do at the crib because yeah. they in somebody else's territory at that time. Yes, sir. And that's that's the only difference in the playgrounds. Some people control their cities a lot better. That's all it is. Our city a little and too wild. And keep it in house. Yeah. And they keep it in house. See, they still doing that OG shit out there. We don't respect our OGs out here. Oh, man. That's our biggest problem. Oh, man, podcast. look. Shout out to Do or Die, Twister and the Fam. Yeah. Chris Conflict. Everybody, I did shows with coming up. I don't, right. I don't care what they saying, man. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I'm talking about. Shout out to the real OGs, bro. Because uh, I be seeing the OGs at clubs and niggas be acting like they don't know who they is because they too and they pride, bro. That shit lame as hell, bro. I grew up off that do you that that three a.m. bump bump bump. Hey, they not gonna do that. Talk you know what I'm saying? Boy. And that's just that's Talk just me. Shit, so boy. that's the problem, bro. We too busy feeling ourselves. I feel myself, but man, I take heed to the words they say, bro. They showed us this formula, this yes, sauce sir. we using. They showed us how to upgrade our equipment, cause they was there when it was upgraded. Ooh. That's 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 say that shit for the facts, niggas in the bro. back, bro. That's, say that that's, shit that's for the niggas it, in the back, G. You feel me? They don't they don't get that part. You feel me? You gotta seek to the people when you're ready to upgrade because they was there when it was upgrading, bro. They watched the whole transformation. That's why I, I still reach out oh, to V Dub and Happy and Mustafa Rocks. 
man, them the people I call when I need to learn how to scratch. Mm. If I need to double back on something. Because, bro, proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Man, a lot of these people ain't play with them records, man. I want to go where the records was at. Now, before I before we get up out of here, bro, I got this game. It's called the 10 name game. Let's bro. do it. So I'm going to fire off 10 things or 10 names. And you got to give me your answer. The first thing that pop in your mind and a one word answer. So if I say DJ, you say Louis V. Boom. Gotcha. You ready? So, ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Niggas. You tripping. <laughs> <laughs> that was too worried, but I had to get it out. Shit, I had to get it out. All right, all right. The Boondocks. Huey. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a real insider. <laughs> Lil Zay Osama. My fucking boy. I gotta extend that. But gang. God. DJ Ferris. My good. Uh see, I can't respond in one word, man. It's too much. Gang, one word, <laughs> baby. Games, just man. one. Just one. OG. Little Louis V. <sighs> Greatness. Hood Maxi. Brother. Guns. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Love. <laughs> Love those. <laughs> Shit, yeah, I can't make it up. Last one. Talk last to one. me. No, not last one. I'm talking. I'm tripping. Big L. Big bro. That's my man. That's big bro. That's my, that's my man. That's my dog, man. That's my man. That's the person he, that he, I, that's, he did work. He, just, he, he did got, work. He got new work in right now. That we that's the best. <laughs> Shout out to the boy here. Yeah, that's my dog, big here. You know, Malcolm X. Influence. Now this is the last one. Louis V. Connections. Mm. I'm the connection, bro. I connect so many things on an everyday basis, it just don't make sense behind the scenes, you feel me? Mm. That's all I think when it comes to me. Just connecting dots. My brother, <laughs> I appreciate you so much, bro. I appreciate you so much oh, wait, for man, the conversations so that we had. Yeah. You're, yeah. for the conversations that we have, man, that we had, that we had. Also, just for the lookout that you gave me, bro. Thank you, man. I can't, I can't thank you enough, bro. Love Just for even stopping through. Tell everybody how they can get in contact with you, G. Oh, Tell man. Give them all your handles. At DJ Louis V on everything, man. You get that confused. Just top it in on Google. <laughs> I ain't going to do all that. This a character. <laughs> Fully published, man. Well established, man. You know, if y'all brothers ain't up on that, you get at me, man. I'll help you with that. For sure that. <laughs> I fuck with it. Hey, y'all already know y'all can find me, man. On IG, official underscore Y-U-N-G Gotti. Also on Facebook, you can find me, Irvin Woods Jr. Please go and do that. <coughs> also, Gotti's World Media, my YouTube channel, where this is played at. Hit the subscribe button, please. Don't fuck around with it, please. Man, hold on one time, Stop. man. Just, just, I, I just, hit the fucking subscribe I just, button. Bro. I just always want to do one of these. Coming live from WPX Radio this and Beyond nigga. Radio. Live this with nigga. DJ Louis V and Young Gotti. <laughs> Will hit that switch. Will, NBI ready? Hey, NBI ready? Hey, man. NBI, thank you, Say man. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Look, man. Hey, check this out, man. High in this podcast. I want to thank, thank you, God, for this episode, man. Thank you, God, for this brother and this talent that he has. Thank you, God, for Envy on Studios, man. Thank you, Definitely. God, for all these brothers over here watching this brother back, man. Y'all be safe. And two two things I need from you, two things I ask you. I know I keep asking you for shit, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Talk to me. One, I just need 10 followers from you, bro. Just 10. That's all I need. I don't hey. need 20. I don't need 30. I just need I 10 got, from you, Drew. I, got, I just ended the I just live need on 10. my Insta, but I got like four people on here. Y'all go follow my boy, Young Gotti. I just need 10. That's it. I just need 10. You know, but I'm going to make that happen by the night, though. Don't, they probably and, already, it probably already happened. You probably just need to check your page. And I just need you to be safe, bro. Be oh, safe man. out here. Take care of yourself. I love safety. And that's it, bro. I love that's safety that's all as I much need. as I love guns. That's all I need from you, my G. I love that. That's it. I love that in you, bro. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. This that. is the Gotti's World Podcast. We got another one in. Season 3. Yeah. Yes, sir. Newness, here's the anthem. Put your hand up that you shoot with, count your loot with. Push the pool stick in your new crib. Same hand that you.